So you've got, you've got functionality with the minivan. You've got style with the, with the SUV. And then what, what's the third missing element? Well, how about performance? So what if, what if you could have a car that has more functionality than a minivan, more style than an SUV, and more performance than a sports car? That's the Model X. So one of the main inventions of the Model X is something that we call the falcon wing doors. So, and, and driving the car is Franz von Holzhausen, our head of design. And then we've also got uh, six of the key uh, engineers and designers behind the Model X. You'll notice these are not small people. So with, with the Model X, we wanted to create something. We really wanted to, to create a, a door that was better than any other door. This is something that's very important for you know, something like a, like a minivan, you have that sliding door. Well, how do you create something that's better than a sliding door? We went through many iterations. This was not an easy thing to figure out. And the thing that makes this unique is it's, it's a split gull, it's, it's, it's like a gull wing, but it's a split gull wing. So we call it the falcon wing. And that's really important. Um, because with the split gull wing, with the second hinge, we're able to make it such that the, the door opens out very, very slightly. And it being so tall, you can do things like stand up inside the car. You can't do that in any other, any other, any other vehicle. So uh, it, it also has the only, sort of only, only roof opening. So even if you're in the rain, it's protecting you from the rain. <laughs> and th one of the things that's nice about this is, like let's say you've got a child seat here. And you, if you put a child, child seat here, normally what you'd have to do is you'd have to cantilever yourself over the car and try to, try to put your kid in. In this case, you can actually just step into the car and put your kid down. So. so it has, it truly has seating for seven adults, like seven real adults. Um, and you can also do things, you can, you can step directly into the third row. So, <laughs> a little unwieldy. So, um, no one really had moved the, moved the seat, but I don't want to wait for that. So, the, the thing about this is that normally if you have an SUV and you have a child seat in the second row, it's extremely difficult to use the third row. It's, it's almost impossible. So, with the Model X, you can actually do that. And it really fits perfectly every, everywhere you go. So, this is a roadster in a garage. It's actually my garage. And this is the Model X. So the, the doors don't go any higher than a normal SUV rear hatchback would go. So if, if you can open the, the, the hatch on an SUV, you can open the, the Falcon Wing doors. I want to show an illustration. So 
we've designed the Falcoming doors such that if you can physically fit between your car and another car, you can, you can enter the door. It actually has more accessibility than any minivan sliding door because normally you'd have the sliding door in the way when you're trying to get in. So, I mean, I'm sure we've all been in, in, a, in a parking lot where somebody's parked really close to us and we can't get in. You won't have a problem with falconing doors. <laughs> so. We've really tried to create something which is perfect for everything you do. So, what can I do in my Q7? Well, when you actually have the third row up, you've got basically no cargo space. You can fit a couple of sleeping bags, a, a backpack, and a rope. With the Model X, we've got a third row seat plus tons of space for baggage. and all the seats fold flat. I mean, you can practically fit a queen-size bed in there. So just think of all the things you could do with this space. I mean, this car can do anything you want. It's crazy. Fit a bike in there. You can travel. Practically move house. What an EV architecture really, really allows is that all this stuff that is normally there, that would normally be in the front of a car. So you'd ordinarily have this huge engine, and you might have a big transmission in the back. You'd have, uh, you'd have, you'd have a, a fuel tank and a catalytic converter and an exhaust, all sorts of stuff that just takes up room. We give all of that room back to you. <laughs> There's something in the front you didn't expect. <laughs> I didn't expect it either. Um, so. Uh, the other major invention associated with, with the Model X is dual motor all-wheel drive. So we actually have a motor in the front and a motor in the rear. So despite having a motor in the front, you actually have this enormous trunk. What, what dual motor all-wheel drive gives you is the, the best all-wheel drive experience of any car, period. Because you can dynamically shift power from front to rear, depending upon what has got the most traction. So thousands of times a second, the, the, the car is figuring out where the most traction is and shifting power front to rear. This is something you can't do in a regular all-wheel drive, where it's just a dumb mechanical linkage. So this, this has incredible road holding and traction. And we've also designed it such that we're able to shift power according to where, how you want to turn. So it actually has an incredible turning radius. We, th we think it may actually have a turning radius that's better than a Mini in an SUV. So this is really a, a, a very powerful thing. And also does something with respect to performance. So let's say a, a car you're probably familiar with, the Porsche 911 Carrera. There's 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. Model X, 4.4 seconds. So you've got something that's the size of an SUV, it's faster than a Porsche. Model, S, Model X gives you functionality, style, and performance. There's no other car like this. <laughs> so just going over that again, what was the problem? Well, there were 77 years of cars that, well, didn't really quite do it. With the Model X, we've got the Falcon Wing design, we've got mountains of storage, seating for seven adults, 
incredible performance. So, the Model X. This is a product you're gonna love. So you may be wondering, how do you get one? <laughs> Reservations will be done the same way as the Model S. We'll have the signature series and then uh, general production. We'll start production towards the end of next year, probably deliver a few units, and then uh, bulk production will start in 2014. So when can I sign up? Tomorrow at noon, reservations go live at teslamotors.com. But you can reserve one tonight. All right. So the Model X, um, after, so come up on stage. You're welcome to come on stage and check the car out and have a great party.